Hey, YouTube. It's time for me to complain about YouTube again. I, 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 I know. Can someone just stop YouTube from their self? I feel like YouTube is like a toddler playing with knives and you, let's just, let's just take the knife away from that baby. Stop, stop doing, stop. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably don't know what I'm talking about because it doesn't affect you in any way possible. So literally you can click away the video right now. I mean, no, it matters, damn it. I don't know if you noticed this. This has been a problem for a very long time. Number one, YouTube unsubbing you from a channel even though you didn't unsub. Number two, videos not appearing for the person you subscribe to. Remember, remember the sub feed? Remember when that was a thing? This is what we get now. We get the recommended. Where's the fucking sub feed? Oh, it's there. Well, no one clicks on it. Now, I used to be subscribed to H3 through H3, and I, I was like, why am I not seeing their videos? Well, I'm unsubscribed for some reason. Why? A channel that I'm, I've actually watched, like, regularly, why would I be unsubscribed? And then channels I haven't touched in fucking years, I'm still subscribed to. How does that make any fucking sense? Now, you may have noticed that my channel is dying, okay? Now, let's, let's just get that, that out of the way, okay? My channel is... It's going down. It's going down hard. If you're, if you're still here, you need to get the fuck out. Because <laughs> it's not going to be pretty from now on. I'm using reverse psychology. Please stay. I clearly fucking need you. <laughs> well, basically, when, when I was uh, doing the daily vlogs, I noticed how really poorly they perform. I was really surprised by this. Because generally, vlogs do really well. And last year, I did them. And uh, they were fine. But I noticed, like, some videos didn't even get 2 million views. I know, didn't even get 2 million. But that's really bad for me. That's unheard of for me for the last four years, probably. Three, four years. So for that to happen, I, I must be really doing badly uh, to my standards. <laughs> They're pretty high. So I'm like, well, I guess people don't like the vlogs. But it was weird because all the comments were really supportive and, and really appreciative. But I could tell that people just weren't clicking on them. So I, you know, we started doing this clickbait joke just to kind of draw people in. I found I filmed all day, but I got no I got no interesting title. I got hit by my own car. <laughs> hit by my own car. <laughs> you gotta get a good frame in. And that's how you make a YouTube video. <laughs> and honestly, like a reason why I I made this video where I said I'm quitting the vlogs, part of it was because I thought no one liked them. I thought that people didn't enjoy them and that's why uh, and it's already adding all this stress. So I was like, well, it's not worth it if, if, if you know, people don't like the content I'm making. We're putting all this effort into it and, and we're too stressed out and too busy. And uh, it was really a, a rough time for me. Now I figured out it's because YouTube changed. They changed how you view videos. I asked YouTube respectfully. I wrote a really nice polite email. And YouTube said, lol, we don't know what's happening. <clears throat> Can someone stop YouTube from themselves, please? All I want is that the people that subscribe to me get to watch my videos. I don't give a shit about whatever else you do, okay? But that seems like the core foundation of pretty much this most simple fucking thing that you need to do. Oh, and don't unsub me from channels that I'm watching. Now what you can do, you can double subscribe now. Hey, what a great idea. Let's make the subscription fucking useful. Like, now they gotta double subscribe. So, uh, hey, 49 million people that I collected over, over six years of hard work. Hey, could you do me another favor? That It'd be great. Just click on that little little bell there, and then just be like saved. Not on H3's channel, on my, on my channel. Bell me, bro. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a bell if you like. Is that what I'm gonna have to do now? So what they're doing instead is that they're recommending videos about people that you don't give a shit about. You get recommended whatever the fuck is on the trending tab. Sorry, Zoella, but I don't care what's in your back, okay? Your subscribers do, I am sure, but keep that shit away from me, okay? As far away as possible, thank you. I feel like I want to work at YouTube and just tell them how to do shit. I want to just be like, hey, hey everyone, stop. Just stop. Just, you can go home. 
Hey, I, I, I got a crazy idea. How about we... <laughs> how about we just put back the subscriber feed? How about that? The thing that we had since the beginning of fucking thing that seems to be working just fine. What I think really is why YouTube is so great is the relationship or like you watch someone on a more personal level. I don't think you guys come back just to watch some Swedish retard for a few minutes. Like maybe you care about me and you care about what I'm doing. At least that's what I like to think that is happening at least. But it seems like YouTube wants to promote all these random ass fucking videos that you don't give a shit about. That's what they want to promote instead. Instead of you getting the videos of these person that you choose to subscribe to and you, that you really enjoy entertainment that you really enjoy consuming. And really what this does, this change does, is that it makes the problem of YouTube having too much clickbait get even more clickbaity. Because top 5 videos, or top 10 videos, these fucking retarded ass videos. Like, videos that are, have nothing to do with personality, has nothing to do with content, just has a really great title and a really great thumbnail. 10 million views since 6 days ago. It is really upsetting how they did this change. They won't explain what happened properly to anyone. It's in not just me, but a lot of YouTubers are noticing this. And the fact that I, it, it added just a huge amount of stress when I was already like filming a show for YouTube. Um, it's really f fucking sad and, and really discouraging. I find that a lot of people that work with YouTube almost anyone, have no idea what it's like to work on YouTube as a content creator, as uh, someone who's built this for years and really cared about it. It's, it feels like a kick in the face when they make changes and don't tell anyone about it. Because this site means so much to YouTubers like me and everyone else. It's not just me. Um, it means the world to us. It's something that we worked really, really hard on and I... I don't think they understand. I don't think they will ever get it if you say why why this is such a big problem. They never made a YouTube video. They I don't know. I, I imagine like a lot of people that I work with on YouTube, they think we're just fucking record for 15 minutes and that's it, you know? It's a lot of work. I know it's like a meme that YouTube isn't a job or whatever. And, and in a lot of ways, no, it fucking isn't. I used to work at a nightclub working night shifts and fucking... <laughs> That was pretty fun, actually. But regardless, like, I know what it's like to have a shitty job. And YouTube by far, by far, is the hardest job I've ever had and have I ever, ever had and pro will guaranteedly ever have because every successful YouTuber put their heart and soul into this. And we know our channels. We know if something is wrong and if something has changed. I, I check my videos every single day when I wake up. And if something is different and off, I would know about it. The only reason I didn't know about it was because I was so busy when I was in LA that I couldn't even have time to do anything. I couldn't check these sort of things, so I thought it was my fault. And like I said, this is not just affecting me, it's affecting other YouTubers and creators that you care about. YouTube is trying to kill my channel. It is happening. It's clear if you watch my analytics, it's, it's, all, it's all going down there. And I think my videos are better. I think they're really funny, and it seems like you guys enjoy them as well. So it's a shame that it's going in this direction. I'm not gonna let YouTube win. I see how it is. It's because I have so many subscribers, they're trying to kill my channel. This is all a conspiracy. YouTube wants to kill my channel. It's because I'm always complaining to them. I don't have family-friendly content. I clickbait too much, huh? Is that it? It all makes sense. YouTube wants my channel gone. They want someone else on top. Someone really extremely cancerous, like Lily Sinks. I'm white, can I make that comment? But I do think that's a problem. And I'm not gonna let YouTube win. I'm not gonna let YouTube defeat me. So I've decided the only way to stop my channel from dying. I know you're gonna think I'm joking right now, but I'm gonna delete my channel. I swear to you, add 50 million subs when we hit 50 million. Huge landmark coming up. Huge deal. Never, never been done before. No one's even close. I am deleting my channel. And meanwhile, remember to bing that button. Bing it. Bing that button. Jump. Bing it. Well, I hope this video had a decent enough purpose. I'm sorry, it was a little rambly. I was supposed to shoot something else today.
I will delete my channel once PewDiePie hits 50 million. I think it's going to be pretty fun. I'm, I'm excited to delete my channel and start fresh with a new shitty channel probably. I won't quit YouTube. I'll just delete the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Bell me hard and I'll fuck you later.